Hi folks, welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Welcome back from the New York Post. Eric Adams calls for Cuomo impeachment to move forward if governor doesn't resign. Eric Adams just recently won the Democratic primary for mayor of New York City. And it's so facto, it's the same as a general election. In the last few minutes, Bill de Blasio, the current mayor of New York City, also calls for his resignation. Now, I'm doing this video not to show about Andy Cuomo. He should have resigned. Should have been impeached. I did an episode on already. I'm doing this about the fact that these Democrats, these same Democrats in New York, as well as in Washington, said absolutely nothing, not even an inquiry on the over 15,000 deaths in nursing homes, in my opinion, and people a lot smarter than me's opinion, killed in nursing homes by Andrew Cuomo's orders. They were put there. They had hospitals in New York. They had the hospital ship outside of New York that the federal government put together for them. Of course, the federal government was Donald Trump. Policies and ideology kills people. It killed people. His ideology and his hatred for Donald Trump killed people. Yet, what does the media say? What do the, the Democrats in New York say? They say this. Nothing. In fact, in a lot of ways, they're relieved. Now, I can't tell you how I know that. I live in upstate New York. I am a New York resident. I was involved in local politics as a Democrat for a long time, no longer a Democrat since 2013. I used to be a local city councilman in the early 2000s. And I know some people around in politics. Andrew Cuomo was never liked by the Democrats, but they were never, ever going to do an investigation on the nursing home deaths. This is their way out. This is their way to get rid of Andy Cuomo and the Me Too thing just moves right in and does it for him. Cowardly, cowardly, cowardly. Let's read some of this nonsense. Not, not because the New York Post is nonsense. This is just the, the whole situation is nonsense. Democratic mayoral nominee Eric Adams said Tuesday that state lawmakers should impeach Andrew Cuomo. And he goes on to talk about the report it is now the duty of the New York State Assembly to make, take swift and appropriate action and move forward the impeachment proceedings if the governor will not resign. Yeah, yeah, they got a way out. They got lucky. What's that one? Um, the old aid for Barack Obama, the old mayor of Chicago said, never let a crisis go to waste. Well, this is a crisis for them. But they can take advantage of it. We can get rid of and bury this whole thing about all these tens of thousands of people that died in nursing homes under the order of Andrew Cuomo. And we can get rid of him without making the party look bad. And on top of that, we're going to look like we're looking out for women because we're feminists. You know what? I have one word for all of it. Bullshit. It's a scam. Did Andy Cuomo probably act inappropriately? Yeah. I don't have enough evidence. I wasn't there to know. I haven't seen the report. Is it most of it he said, she said? Probably. Oh, unbelievable. Here we go. Bill de Blasio. He must resign. He continues to resist and attack the investigators. Did their jobs. He should be in peace immediately. Are you kidding me? I, you know, I agree with that statement. But he should resign because of the people that died. And this is the disgusting part of all of this with the current Democrat Party. It's more important 
that you stick up for women who made felt uncomfortable who were sexually harassed over people that died. Think about that for a minute. Think about that. That is incredibly disgusting. Luckily, this is a short article. The findings contained in the report are disturbing. The conduct by the governor outlined in this report would indicate someone who was not fit for office. 165-page report released Tuesday morning. Cuomo violated federal and state laws by sexually harassing several women. That's more important than killing over 15,000 people in nursing homes. Unbelievable. This is the current state of the Democrat Party. Individual lies don't matter, no matter how many thousands of them there are, but our ideology matters more than anything, more than people's lives. Now, I left the Democrat Party in 2013, probably should have left them when I was a councilman here in upstate New York. And I know from just local politicians and people that I know in the state level, yeah, Andrew Cuomo is not very well liked, even in Democrat circles. But then when this happened with the uh, pandemic and those people put in nursing homes, knowing what would happen. Now, could everybody from upstate New York travel down to New York to go to the hospital ships that uh, the federal government with Trump provided? No. But there's a the vast majority of the population in the New York metro area in this state. Would they have 10, 15% capacity each? Those were top-notch facilities, state-of-the-art operating rooms, probably better than 95% of the hospitals in this country. And they did nothing to fill them up and help those people. They crammed them in nursing homes, and they killed old people. Why? to score political brownie points or not give credit to their opponent running for re-election. If that's not an impeachable offense, I don't know what the hell isn't. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.